Hey guys, how you doing? FM Dell here and welcome to We're All Wednesday, Ain't We? Where we're trying to take Wednesday to the Premier League and win the Premier League, go to the Champions League, bring back the glory days. You are aware none of that is going to happen. I don't care how long it takes, I'm going to do it. It's going to happen. Remember to like, subscribe and do all the beautiful stuff. Help us out. We are already a small channel, so tell it to all of your friends. And let's see, get all those Wednesdayites out there. You know what, we can turn this around, guys. We can, if Josh Windass can score in the 93rd minute, we can turn this around. What, what do you mean, turn this around? Oh yeah, you don't know what's happening. Ah, it's time to call Kelly. Kelly! Yeah. Since you guys were last here, it was the Dale Derby. We had a great time, a 2 0 win right here against Shrewsbury. We thought the world is going to be our oyster. Then we had a game against Ipswich. You didn't see it, and let me tell you guys, it's probably for the best because we did a Sheffield Wednesday thing. Is this is this concede late again? It's concede late again. Is what we did. We were one 0 down with Sonny Luco, but Hannibal and Wing scored. We thought we were having a great time. Ninety minute plus one. Louis Barry thinks it's a good time to score. And you know what, Louis? It ain't not a good time to score if you're not Chef your Wednesday. Then we had a terrible game against Wigan. I mean, I can't even tell you how badly this game went. We were 3-0 down before we even blinked. Uh, and then Gregory scored. Thought maybe that's a push in the right direction. Home game against Oxford. Nil, nil. Average game. Very little happened. St. Johnston's paint. Papa John's. Who gives a flying? Don't say it. You know what I mean? We don't care about it. We didn't play a full team. Of course we didn't. Uh, but we lost on penalties to a 10-man Mansfield team. I mean, grand scheme, it was very bad. But we came out of that with another 0-0 draw. Now, the negatives that we have here, uh, league-wise, is that we are getting a lot of draws. Uh, the draws are coming in very much like real life. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't quite seem to be put away our chances. Lee Gregory had a great game here. Bannon had a good game. Really good defensive game from Wisdom and Orpha. We just couldn't push on. And it's very frustrating. But the last game we played was Cambridge. And as you can see down here, guys, it's green for a reason. Andre Wisdom scored his first Sheffield Wednesday goal. We walked away with a beautiful 1-0 win. We'll take the nil. The positive side in, uh, in the month of October so far, we have not conceded a goal. But you did against 10-man Mansfield. In the league, we haven't conceded a goal in the league. So that's how we're going to look at the positives. The defensive structure is working. The people brought in Wisdom, Dunkley... Gibson all playing very, very well at the back. So that is a positive. Today, we have Lincoln and Bolton. 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 If you watched the last game, uh, last episode, sorry, we, uh, we we weren't meant to be playing Bolton. But what happened was uh, international rules meant that we, we had to, well, we didn't have to postpone, but I postponed because I thought we needed to give the players a rest, a little bit of a rest before going into another strong time. So we've got two home games here. Uh, one Lincoln today and then Bolton as well. So big games for us. You know what, let's get straight into the Lincoln game. So here's the team. This is what we are looking at. Uh, and we are looking straight down the line. Right here, Sheffield Wednesday versus Lincoln. We're going with Peacock, Farrell, Iowa for Wisdom and Gibson. They're in the back three. With Palmer and Bidwell on the left and the right. With Wing and Bannon in the middle. Hannibal is playing just ahead of those. With Barajino and Patterson in front of those two as well. The bench is looking very, very strong. Uh, we have Gregory Dunkley. We've got a good player in each position, I do feel. Now, if we look at Lincoln, uh, Appleton is, is the manager. But go through all of those. Dan and on loan from Southampton. Apart from that, Regan Paul, former Man United. Really, we don't need to. I, I, I'm putting out that I don't think we overly need to worry. Uh, Lewis Fiorini. On many, on many a football manager have I tried to sign that boy. A very good young player. Chris Maguire. Yeah, we all know who he is. Kick off. Let's do it today, boys. Let's just do it today. That's what we want. Some good football from the boys. First moment of the game is coming the 19th minute. And it's Regan pulled on the right-hand side. Going forward for Lincoln. And uh, lovely work from Jake Bidwell. I tell you what, Jake Bidwell has been a lovely little signing for us. Every game he's played so far, he's looked a different quality. Not the best ball. Oh, that's a good ball, though. And Patterson down the wing. Can he come forward? Barajino not offering too much in the middle, but it's gone back to Jake Bidwell. The, the difference maker there for sure at the left. As Gibson looks across, playing beautifully to wing. Wing into Hannibal. Patterson, can he go out wide? He can. To see if Palmer can get the ball into the box. That's very important for us is to get it out wide and get it into Patterson's head. 
It's not got to Patton's head this time, and Wing hasn't done well enough with the clearance. Beautiful take from my author. The defensive team, the defensive structure looking very good for us so far. It's Palmer. Palmer, sorry, takes it in. It's got to be Patson. It's gone wide. Ooh. Patson down the left, and Pooley kicks it away. What's happened here? What is... There is a red card to TJ Aoma. But the interesting thing is I have no clue what happened. It must have been off the ball. Wingy's going to take the free kick. And it's a great save from Griffiths and cleared by Jackson. But I do not know what has just happened there at all. Trying to give the boys a bit of encouragement in the game. See if they can just push on a little bit. Uh, we do have the extra man. So come on, boys. Ooh, it's half time. It's nil nil. They're a man down, and we are not making the most of this. We definitely have a better XG corners. We are in control of the game, but this is one of those that you need to figure out very, very quickly how to make it better. Kick up for the second half. They've made another sub, and Lundulu has come off, and Maguire's come on. But the boys need to uh, need to do something here. And you know what? Is not doing something. Letting them have the ball. That's not what we need to do. We need to win it back. Quickly, and we're not going to like that. It's wisdom. Heads out to the wide. Robson, not good enough clearance. You can feel it, can't you? You can feel it in your bones. I'm feeling it too. It's Maguire. Oh, you knew it. It had to be. Chris Maguire, what have we done wrong here? No one knows. We are what? Gonna have to make. We're gonna have to change it up. We're gonna have to change it up. Fuming about this, by the way. Fine, the goal was good. Can't blame Peacock Farrell. That's, that's frustrating, you know, it's a very good finish from Maguire, but we need to, need to be better than this. Can we straight away as Wingy throws it into Iorfa? Come on, oh, I felt the post. Ugh, just put it away, boys. Right, so we've gone attacking, we've brought on Gregory, we're trying to win this game. Right, we're back, so, playing it long to no one, so, it's just... Hard to watch this, boys, and I understand that I might be out of a job very soon. Um, it's going out to Regan Paul. We're not... Where's the closing down? Do your jobs, boys. Bridcut has it. Plays it out to Paul. What is going on here? This is absolutely atrocious from us. Goes across the back to Jackson. We're going to be attacking. No one's pressing. What is going on? Um, yeah, it's going all the way back to the goalkeeper. Played long... Just win the ball back. We have Alex Hunt is on, by the way, for Barry Bannon, who hasn't played brilliantly, and I thought he'd probably need a break with the game coming in three days. But Bidwell is a difference maker for us. Be a difference maker right now. As it comes into Gregory, it's gone over him. Knock it back to Palmer. Get the... Oh, he hasn't. He's gone to wing. We just don't look like uh, doing anything special here, let's be honest. Palmer down the right-hand side. Back into wing. Back post, Sao. Is he offside? He's f Sorry for swearing. He's offside, everyone. He's absolutely offside, and I, I'm so upset about it. Come on. Come on. At least come away with the draw here, boys. We can't, they, they've been down to 10 men for 90% of this game. As Palmer plays it into Berrinho. Do something good, Berrinho. You can't train for Toffee, but let's see if you can bring it in. Bidwell, I always believe I get a little bit of ex excitement when he's on the ball. Something might happen. Hunt into Sal. You've, you've already scored one. You've actually scored this time. It is Silla Sal. Oh, yes. Come on. That's the least. The least we could expect from this game. As, uh, as Bidwell always making a difference there on the left-hand side. Plays it back to Alex Hunt, who just, calm as you like, plays it into Sal. And, oh, he puts it away. Come on. Ugh. It, it's hard, isn't it? Do you, take that as a, do you take that as a good result or do you take it as a bad one? They were down to, uh, to 10 men for most of the game. So, I think it has to go as a bad one. But we did pull it back. That's the positive. We need to look at it. Hunt did well coming on. Wing did okay. I offer him Bidwell, of course, doing fine. Gibson, terrible six. Probably should have brought him off. He's done that bad. Uh, Sour, 7-4. We had a 1-5 XG, which really shows we were on top of the game. This is very realistic for Sheffield Wednesday at the moment. Ugh, come on, next game, though. Next game, let's look at the positives. Let's get to Bolton. I think this is, this is the, the most evident bit that we all need to look at. Sheffield Wednesday manager slams team. Barry Bannon shows how tempers flared at the end of the game. They did because I'm just not happy enough with how it's going. These draws are fine, but they are not going to get us up the league, are they? When we look at the league table, we're in 14th position. I should have told you this at the start, but I found it upsetting. We're in 14th position. We've got 18 points. That's 10 points behind the playoffs. The idea of getting the playoffs this season looks absolutely impossible. It's, it's really hard. It's really difficult. This is going to be a longer project than I thought, but let's get to the Bolton game. They're bottom, so let's hopefully pull something out of the bag, shall we? 
kick off and for some reason it didn't show me the little page where you see the players which is very upsetting uh, but i'll talk you through them as it goes on it's brown who's playing today at left back um plays it into adenarin who's gone long it's juicy scores what maybe we don't need that bit it's a second goal of the season for dennis adenarin and he's absolutely scored a hurler um into the far corner here it is johnson back to brown a completely new left side for us with johnson and brown playing uh back to denner and he's playing the anchor role what a glorious finish today but that's not the big news i, I thought i was i was going to tell you about the big news um which is that i've decided to go with cameron archer up front today bottom of bottom of the league i thought it's a great opportunity to play him to bed him in so it's a big opportunity for him. That's what we've gone with and that's how we're feeling. But we're 1-0 up. It's always good, isn't it? Well, that was also the only thing of the first half that they were going to show you. So, yeah, we're 1-0 up at half time. We've looked okay. Obviously, we've only seen one highlight majorly. But when you look over here, we've been in control of the game. Uh, but possession-wise, it's been all Bolton. It's, it's really strange. It's, it keeps saying in the words below, we're in control. But it's been all Bolton. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. We just need to go. Kick off for the second half. We can only hope that it's a, a little, little bit more exciting than the first. We are back. We've got another highlight. It's Hunt who's playing at right back today, by the way, for the people who didn't know because of that stupid thing that didn't pop up. But it's Carvalho who's in. He's round the back. He plays it back to Archie. He scores. He scores. Is it an own goal? It is an own goal. George Johnston, but it is come from Cameron Archer. I am counting that as the young lad being able to feel quite happy about his part in this goal. Um... Carvalho has it down the right hand side, gets to the byline, puts it back in. It's Oh, it's come off the keeper. Keeper makes a save. Down to the back of Johnson. It's 2-0. It's very unlucky for Bolton, but it's, it's fine for us. Subs have been made. Gregory's come on. Hannibal's come on. Just playing out the game. Another highlight just before the end. Bannon clips it into Gregory. Oh, just over. But you know what? We've not had one highlight against us in this game, and that is exactly what I like to see. Come on, the boys. Come on, the boys. Brilliant work. Look, again, you know, we've said this a lot this season. Defensively, we are so strong. Look at that. There's a lot of players there who are not the normal defensive structure. Hunt, not normally in there. 7-3 today. Brown, 7-6. Gibson, Dunkley. And obviously, Peacock, Farrell. Loads of good scores at the back. Again, going forward, that's where we need a lot of work. So, uh, we've got a lot of players there as well, which is a little bit worrying in that case. But look, it's a win. So where'd that put us in the league? Well, here is what it does to the league table. We're now in 11th position. And after that game, it does seem to help looking at the playoffs. And we are still looking at the playoffs. We're now only seven points behind the playoffs. Yes, our goal difference is not close to theirs, but we're only seven points away. There's a long way left in this season. We are only at 15 games, but... We need to keep that momentum. It is so tight, as it always is in League One, but we really do need that. We've got Cheltenham in the next game. They're down there, so hopefully we can get some good results against these two and pop us up the table. But when are you guys going to be coming back? Well, we'll figure that one out right now. I'm hoping we can go on a good run, and we are going to be coming back for these two games. It's the Portsmouth and the Crew game. Now, if you are... A as I say, a long-term follower here at FM Dell. If you're not, first of all, go back to me and my crew because crew has such a strong place in my heart. And this is a definite another Dale Derby right here. Portsmouth and crew. So we're definitely going to come back for that crew game. If you haven't already, do like and please subscribe. Pass it on to your friends. Do all the beautiful stuff. And hopefully over the next bit when we come back, we'll be like, hey, we're already in the playoffs. Who knows? But one thing we do know, we're all NC, ain't we? We'll see you soon. Toodle pip, guys.